Hello. Um, before I get started with this, um, I want to see if you hear anything. Um, some kind of like chains rattling or something. It's because um, the fan is on. Because it's springtime in. Well, it's a bit warm. So there's that. And this is a bit different from my usual topics of this series. You know, usually it's film related, but I think because um, that this seems to be very more, very entertainment based uh, kind of a uh, series. You know, in many film making techniques and story uh, kind of uh, elements and plots and such can be applied to television shows as well. So, in many ways, I think you could argue this topic uh, within this series. As well as, um, also, uh, there was a movie with this character, uh, which I'm going to talk about. It um, wasn't the main focus, but he was in the, f the film, nonetheless. Um, of course, talking about uh, Apu from The Simpsons. And people are upset because he's a racist stereotype or something. Now I have to say this is just so weird and dumb because The Simpsons has been on for almost 30 years. Um, next year will be the 30th anniversary of The Simpsons. And in no time until recently does anybody have had a problem with Apu? Apparently this dude, I guess he's a comedian or something, uh, made a documentary uh, detailing what's wrong with Apu, and I'm just like, this is so stupid. You've had all this time from the beginning of the show's run to complain, and you didn't. Now, the world seems to be very sensitive, um, at least in many regards today. Um, certain groups of people seem to be very sensitive with whatever. Race, uh, religion, sexuality, gender, etc. There seems to be various things that are very... Uh, Sensitive. They're sensitive and seems to draw controversy. Now this is again a topic that's just stupid because it's like it's almost a thirty-year show and we're now finally going to be upset over Apu. Are you kidding me? It's so stupid and so dumb. I mean, why? It's 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 ridiculous. And the upset over Harry Sh uh, Hank Azaria, not Harry Sh Hank Azaria being a poo, a white guy, voicing him like, like, like into one of voice. A poo has a very a certain kind of voice. Yes, you could say he's the stereotypical. Uh, he has a stereotypical Indian accent. Okay, fair enough, but still, has a very specific voice. You can't just bring in anybody that's who is an Indian, bring him into the studio, and read all of Apu's lines. You, you can't do it. He has to have the same sort of voice, unless he ha there's a Indian actor who is able to use that exact voice, like mimic that voice so well that you could never tell the difference between this actor voicing Apu and Hank Azaria voices, uh, voicing Apu. Uh, not saying there isn't one, but still, I mean, it's just like, let's just leave it alone. It's been almost 30 years since we've, since this has happened, it's just, it's unnecessary. Yeah. And then Hank Azaria apologized on, uh, 
in a way, for on Stephen Colbert's show. And how, you know, apparently criticizing, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Apparently criticizing that, but for so many years, people who've complained about various shows for this reason or another, like, I guess, like, Christians were upset over certain shows. What was the criticism? Or what would, or not necessarily criticism, but what do people tell them for criticizing such a show or a film? Well, don't watch it. But now that, in a way, you could say it's on the other side, or like on the opposite end, like the other people are saying this now, and when you say, uh, well, if you don't like it, don't watch it, apparently now that's a problem. It's, it wasn't a problem to say to one group of people, if you don't like it, don't watch it. And that was the end of that. But for these other group of people, it's not okay to tell them, if you don't like it, don't watch it. You can't have it both ways like that, you know. You just can't. But I do believe that is true. If you don't like something, don't watch it. Like if you don't like a TV show because of this or that. Like you don't like a certain character and it's a certain like if it's a stereotype like an Indian stereotype with like a poo and you don't like that and he's shown a good in a good amount of episodes and it just bothers you enough that you complain well don't watch it and I didn't mean to get uh, bring religious stuff into this or even political I guess you could say because this is this is seems to be now in the realm of politics of sorts because of how ridiculous it is, and I like to try to keep this series uh, as positive as can be, but this is just so dumb to me. That it's like, you don't like something, don't watch it. When did that become a bad thing to say to someone? You don't like this kind of movie, don't watch it. Like, I'm not f fond of Woody Allen films. I don't really watch his movies. I've seen a few that are good. I've only really ever brought up Woody Allen, for instance, at the Academy Awards, when seeing how I didn't think Annie Hall was good enough, a good enough film to win Best Picture over Star Wars, in director and screenplay. You know, I think that was a dumb decision by the Academy to give those Oscars to Annie Hall, when Star Wars was a better film. It was the best film of that year, especially when you look at all the nominees. It was like the winner. That you, the fact that it didn't get all or all of those Oscars it lost or most is just you know, baffling when most of those Oscars it lost. It lost four. Three of those weren't to Annie Hall. So like what? Well kinda of same parents. I don't like to talk about something like that often. But this, it's just so aggravating. I don't think also Hank Azaria should apologize. You know, he's very talented. He created a voice. People in charge like that voice. That was the voice of Apu. It's been used for years. And sure, as you know, time goes on, the voice might change a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> or something but I didn't want to go on here but you know the voice might change just a little bit but it still sounds very much the same and I've never heard anyone really complain about Apu uh, especially from Indians nope I've never heard any Indian person say they were offended by Apu until this guy made this documentary He's interviewing people. He's like he's trying to do what he can to make people agree with him, regardless regardless if they do or not. You know, for the documentary's purpose, they do, I guess. Maybe they actually don't, but I thought that might be a good thing with the kind of vibe of this documentary. Also, we got to be PC. Also, that has a thing to do with it, and that's annoying. We need to quit being PC all the time. Uh, 
it's not doing any good honestly and doing this whatever you think of the Simpsons you like it you hate it you loved it to a point not so much anymore I think it, it, the Simpsons is a good show uh, for the most part um, I mean yeah there was a period of time where the writing wasn't very good but then I guess as long you have a show as long as The Simpsons, it's going to happen. But I think in the most more recent years, this the show's kind of gotten back on its feet, uh, kind of like not necessarily back to its roots per se, but trying to get back into that to a point of relevancy where it pokes fun at stuff, kind of like what South Park does. South Park would do that in a way like they would do it like Simpsons used to do like have a sort of commentary on society yet have an interesting and funny story that if you don't agree with what's going on you can just laugh and have fun it seems like they're getting back into that South Park has been doing that for as long as it's been on and uh yeah you know it's like Simpsons starts to really be coming back and uh, into motion, like, to where people would probably want it to be like today. They would want it to be like this. And finally is happening. Oh. Apologize for that. But, you know, it is, it's, it's happening. It's coming back in a way that's, I think, very good. You know, it's happening to be relevant in many cases, again, in various uh, in some aspects, making fun of SJWs and how ridiculous they are. Even though a good portion of uh, the people who are in charge of that show would probably agree with the SJWs ideological standpoint, but they poke fun at them because there's enough there to make fun of them. You can make fun of anything really as long as you make it in good taste and uh, I think they have they haven't been shocking for the just for the purpose of being shocking in that regard like well we're gonna make fun of SJWs but in a way that's like just shocking and that's it that's all that's behind it nothing really interesting or clever and now with this all, this all poo thing, it's just stupid. I mean, again, I keep going back to this, but it's true. 30, almost 30 years, three decades. The Simpsons has been on as a TV show on its own. It's over 30 years if you count the Tracy Ullman show, but just counting The Simpsons as its own. It's in with all poo. It's been... And also, like... You know, Apu owns his own business. Uh, he's also very patriotic. I don't, know. I don't know if that means anything to any of you, but hey, you know, in that he loves America, became a citizen, and um, he seems to really. seems to be very successful at what he does, honestly. Um, and in many ways, uh, if it's a stereotype, it's a, it seems like to be a very good stereotype of just a very successful to be like immigrant in this country. He has his own business. You know. You know, he runs his own store. He, you know, he He's one of the. He's a person in the community. He's in the community of Springfield. You know, people don't look at him different because he's Indian. You know, he, yeah, he might have an accent, but who cares? So is groundskeeper Willie. Ender I'm uh, the mayor. Sounds like a Kennedy. Um, but nobody cares about any of that. You know, the characters of Springfield. Um, could be pretty dumb, but... Ooh.
That's The Simpsons for you, too. Characters can be dumb. But yeah, I don't really see anything really offensive with Apu. Yeah, he could be a stereotype, but there's stereotypes of many things on that show and other shows. They poke, poke fun at certain stereotypes. There's a reason in many ways why stereotypes exist, because to a certain degree they're all true. There's stereotypes about... You, know, you can find a stereotype about anything, honestly. And I think that could be another thing. It's like just a stereotype of an Indian, you know, this and that, and I'm an Apu shadow. Why would you be an Apu shadow? Because you're Indian? I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't really see how he could be, he or anyone could be an Apu shadow that is Indian. I really don't. Um, you can make something of yourself, be your own person, great. But, you know, hey. That dude was offended. Um, I kind of think it's a dumb reason to be offended, especially now. But, I don't really see what the significance of making that kind of documentary right now had. I don't can't see me but I don't know. maybe I'm not looking too hard into this because you know I just again if you think I don't really it seems like I don't really care right in this that this whole Lapu situation I mean it's been around for almost for almost over almost 30 years so yeah first time ever that people have complained about Lapu Perhaps people should actually think of that. Why is it that now people are upset? I don't know. Well, yeah. So, yeah, there. that's what I think. Uh, just watch The Simpsons. Watch the Simpsons movie. Um, yeah. Please don't be upset over the lives of this thing. Um, yeah. Sorry for that little tangent on Woody Allen, but I was trying to make the point. You know, I hope that got across. But I like to try to keep this series very positive, and well, I'm not fond of his film, so I don't really talk about it a whole lot, except for. Yeah, I hope this will be a one-and-done thing for me regarding this topic of Apu. I don't want to make another video of this, because... I mean, no one's demanding I make this video, obviously, but... I think I've said all I can say. This video's gone on a little longer than I thought it would, but... Hey. Well, anyway... That's all I have to say on this topic. It's just ridiculous. It's been around for almost 30 years, and now we're going to be offended. It's just dumb. See you next time. Bye.